Six gay couples have made the most of Queensland's new law allowing civil unions. But it may not last. Campbell Newman says he'll try and repeal it if he's elected this month. It's a funny time to be tying the knot first thing Monday morning. But gay couples in Queensland thought they might never get the chance to live happily ever after. Brilliant. Absolutely ecstatic. We've been waiting a long time for this occasion. This couple with six children and a 15-year relationship want their genealogical records to read like a heterosexual couple's. Now we have a legal union and so we, as Beyonce said, we're, we're here and we're leaving a, leaving a mark. Treasurer Andrew Fraser, who made it legally possible, is figuratively their best man. I think today is a momentous day for Queensland and it's a day where many people will realise the legitimate aspirations of a lifetime, aspirations that many of us take for granted. Like making long-term plans, growing old together. The superannuation and hospital visitation rights and all the really important things. But Campbell Newman has promised to go against his own heart and do what the LNP wants, try to repeal it, if he's elected this month. We voted against the legislation last year and we have said that uh, we will look, at, look to repeal it, but uh, it may not be possible. The Treasurer says it is possible. The real question for Mr Newman is why does he want to repeal this legislation? Why does he want to take away these rights from these people? Today's happy couples were seizing an opportunity that they knew might be open for a limited time only, and they advise others to do the same. Oh, they should go ahead. Absolutely. They yes. should embrace it while it's available. At least now they can say they're civilly united, which is more than some married couples can claim. Karen Berkman, ABC News.